SVG's Jason Dackman. We are at NBC's Sports Production Operations Center in Stamford, Connecticut. I'm with Eric Black of NBC. Eric, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. So this is the biggest digital and biggest streaming Olympics ever for NBC, and that's really saying something considering everything you guys did in Sochi and in London. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you guys are, are planning, uh, what you guys are doing from a streaming perspective this year, coming out of Rio uh, through Stanford, a lot of it. Well, yeah, so it is the biggest event that we've got. It's over 4,500 hours of live content, um, all of it coming through this facility and out to our partners, like Adobe, Microsoft, and Akamai but it is the largest Olympics that we've had to date, and we're really excited to put it on for our users. Sure. So where does this compare to London, which was, I believe, the first uh, all the first year where you guys streamed everything live, everything. Um, I'm sure you guys learned a lot there. What did you learn in London, and how does it compare to this year coming out of Rio? Well, London, we certainly did our first fully live Olympics every event. We did the same with Sochi as well. Uh, what we've learned a lot is consistency and scale. So as we start to add more sports at NBC Sports Group, we're looking to do is continue to expand upon the technology stack that we have and continue to offer more to our end users. So consistency and volume, that's really what we're doing. Here. Sure. And having the Stanford facility helps that tremendously, I would think. How, what kind of difference, this is the first summer games where you've had this Stanford facility, a dedicated broadcast center with robust resources. Uh, how much of a difference has that made for you guys from a digital and streaming perspective? It's, it's massive. So when you look back to London, we actually had facilities in London, Englewood Cliffs, uh, New York City, uh, and down in Hialeah in Florida. Uh, this year it's quite a bit smaller and more compact right here in Stanford. Uh, we're still doing things uh, obviously on site, uh, Englewood Cliffs as well, but so much more centralized here. If you need something, we can run down the hall and get somebody. And that's what we do for all of our sports groups events. So it's really, again, back to consistency, whether it's the Rio Olympics or Premier League or NASCAR or NFL coming up, we can get again use the same technology stack and rinse and repeat right right it's not uh, starting from scratch every time well, that's that's exactly what we did in london which was it was a new technology stack and coming into sochi was when we really solidified with our partner set on one technology stack and that's the same stack that we've evolved over time and continue to use today again a different evolution of it but evolved over time across all of our sports. Sure, and that evolution, of course, uh, there's always new platforms. Seems like every week you're dealing with a, a new uh, technology, a new platform. Um, any new uh, big launches going into Rio that you guys uh, really had to dedicate some resources to in terms of devices? Sure, I mean, obviously we wanted to go through our existing stack and make sure that desktop, iOS, Android, Apple TV, Roku were all rock solid, and we did that. We launched some new apps on those as well. Incrementally, we also launched Chromecast, Windows 10, and Samsung TV as well. Cool. Well, Eric, we really appreciate you taking some time. Thank you so much. Jason Dackman from SVG. Please stay tuned to sportsvideo.org for more live reports from Stanford and from Rio.